Welcome to 2023's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. Fans, this is Week 42, sponsored by Mutant Beaver Comics. I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. If you love daily comic book content, if you love me helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy, if you love awesome cover art, then I think you came to the right place. Hit that subscribe button. All right. We got some unfinished business to take care of. We got to find out who was the Group 5 Wild Card winner and the Group 5 nominee. So the Group 5 Wild Card winner and continues its journey on comic book cover of the year went to Ghost Rider issue 18, the Bjorn Berendis main cover. So it's still alive in the competition. Now we move on to Group 5's winner and it gets nominated for comic book cover of the year. And once again, Art Germ pulls it out. Wonder Woman issue one, that gorgeous Art Germ variant. Congratulations, it moves on to the next round. So with that being said, guys, let's move on to week 42's top 10. And number 10 goes to Moon Knight, issue 28. This is an in Yuck Lee, Last Days of Moon Knight variant. Uh, this is just a pretty simplistic cover of Moon Knight actually just standing there. But he just looks badass, you know. He's all muscular, he's buff, he's got his cool, like, armor on with this cape. He's in a graveyard. And I guess it's just like, there's this, I don't know, this graveyard site that has a hole in there. Why? I'm not sure. Lightning in the background, rain badass cover if you want to see it win make sure you vote in the comments section below remember no more than one vote per person and if you guys don't like any of the top 10 comic book covers that i provide here for you today you can always write in your own and it could start to trend and overtake the other top 10 but just make sure you're descriptive in the comments section moving on to number nine we have the incredible hulk issue five this is a nick klein main cover pretty simplistic you have hulk battling another big ass beast where it like mimics people right that you know people visit this swampy area and then it has like little tendrils and it pretends to like have real people attached to it it's kind of weird you saw it in the last issue but nick klein is a great artist you gotta love the tone of the colors here uh it's just a creepy looking cover and i like the box in the corner as is bruce banner with the bag on his shoulder you know traditional hulk stuff there Moving on to number eight, we have Crypt of Shadows. This is issue one. We're getting in the spirit of Halloween, guys, so we gotta have these creepy, scary light covers. And here we get to see a whole cast of Marvel characters like Hulk and Deadpool and Daredevil and Scarlet Witch. And in the background, you got Man Thing and you got Werewolf. You got Mummy in a big haunted house, right? freaking awesome you gotta love the trade dress of crypt of shadows it makes it just extra creepy and if you want to get in the spirit of halloween right you pick up this book and you read it but it's a nice looking cover moving on to number seven we have avengers incorporated issue two this is the ben harvey wasp variant so another really nice looking cover here of janet who is sitting on an eraser or a pen a a pencil and she's on the eraser and it's an avengers pencil which i thought was kind of cool she's winking at the audience they have a virgin cover of this but i like this one better because the trade dress is behind her wing and you get to see the trade dress through her wing which i thought was actually very creative so that's why i kept that one in here this is a pretty looking cover man and i just love how she's miniaturized and you see all those tools coming in at number six we have another creepy cover we have green lantern war journal this is issue two cover e it's a one in 25 ariel colon cardstock variant this is crazy i forgot the name of these weird like new lantern creatures or whatever it is um but yeah you get to see her front and center her face is hasp deteriorated and she's holding a green lantern ring and it's like melting it's just creepy dude top five now here we go local man issue six cover d done by tim seeley the walking dead 20th anniversary team up variant this is awesome man it's in a comic shop and or it's in a shopping cart i can't really make it out what it is but 
there's a whole bunch of Walking Dead comics in there. And you have Negan with the baseball bat as he's trying to smash Crossjack. I thought that was awesome. And it's got the pick of the week on there, like going, hey, pick this one up. You got to read this one. And as a huge Walking Dead fan, like I absolutely love this cover. So I might be a little bit biased on that. But uh, I thought this was creative. This is a different type of cover. Coming in at number four, we're going to have two covers here. The Sensational She-Hulk issue one. I couldn't decide which ones I love. Um, this is Kari Andrews variant A. Uh, this one is a awesome cover as it's a more like 90s style of Sensational She-Hulk. And I like that. And it's got Captain America in the background and it's got... Um, Spider-Man back there and she's saying her, you know, breaking the fourth wall stuff. And then you have a Adam Hughes foil variant where we have Jennifer Walters in a pool. Uh, and oh, there's a whole bunch of rafts that are stitched together to fit her length. <laughs> Which I thought is actually awesome and she looks great in there and I love how the She-Hulk um, trade dress is like in the bottom of the pool like it's part of the pool or not. So both really pretty covers. Pick your poison here, whichever one. You just got to make sure you're descriptive in the comments. Coming in at number three, we have Ghost Rider issue 19. This is a 1 in 25 Mastrazzo variant. A lot of Ghost Rider covers are making this countdown because they just look freaking sick, dude. You have Mephisto going after Mephisto. I always say his name wrong. Going after Ghost Rider wrapping his chains around him he's just completely on fire and look at the evil faces on both characters well on mephisto himself he's got those long freaking fingernails and then you get to see ghost rider who's just reaching out in agony and pain even with his skull face it just looks freaking awesome dude absolutely love this cover moving on to number two we have justice league versus godzilla versus kong issue one cover um I? <laughs> the 1 in 50 Alan Qua cardstock variant. I like this one because it's just got a lot going on in there. You get to see the Justice League doing whatever they can to stop Godzilla like rummaging through the city, right? So you got Batman saving a kid, you got freaking Superman lifting a car, you got freaking Green Lantern using his green uh his his Green Lantern ring to deflect the rocks, and then you got Godzilla coming through, you got the flash, you got you got so much going on, and that's a great cover. Very talented artists when they can do all that stuff on one page. So yeah, this one I think might have a strong contender here of winning this week. Before we hit number one, I just gotta give a quick shout out to, of course, Mutant Beaver Comics. Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader in exclusive variants with over 3,000 listings in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis and offer top-notch customer service. If you use my promo code CORNER10, not only can you save 10% off of that first purchase, but every other purchase after that so don't miss out on those exclusives check out mutantbeavercomics.com they also had new york comic-con exclusives as well that might still be available coming in at number one goes to superman issue seven the lee bermenho card stock variant this is cover b Man, this is great. You know, young kids idolizing their favorite heroes. And this young boy it idolizes Superman. And he's got his Superman shirt with his own little cape. And he sees Superman flying outside his window in front of the Daily Planet. And Superman is flying. The kid just mimicking. He's just like this. Dude, it's so awesome. I love this cover. Absolutely gorgeous detail that went into it as well. But, you know... All of us have been there if we're superhero fans, how we always idolize our favorite hero and pretend it, and that kid is doing it right in front of his main hero. So if you want to see this win, make sure you vote. So there you guys have it. There are my top 10 favorite comic book covers of the week. Hopefully you had fun. Can't wait to see what you're voting for this particular week. I'm going to leave you more comment or more content right here. This is Worthy Ones. And of course, guys, as always, remember, support those local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting. But more importantly, always read your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.